Hey you guys, welcome back to the Rod Squad. If you're new here, my name is Aubrey. My husband, Guillermo and I, we have seven kiddos. What did you do? <laughs> this is not what I approved. We are all about eating healthy on a budget and just overall living a healthy lifestyle, which extends beyond what you put on your plate. It's our relationship with the Lord. It's our mindset on life, optimism, love, joy, peace, all the fruits of the Spirit. There's so many things that go into having a truly healthy life. But for today, let's jump into this grocery haul. All right. so. This was actually on sale. I wasn't planning on getting a chicken breast. This is not typically my number one go-to meat because it is definitely pricier per pound. I usually stick with organic drumsticks. We're at about $1.99 a pound. But this one was $5 off each package. And there are certain like slow cooker meals that really work best with chicken breast. So we got two packages of those, $5 off of each one. So I kept one in the fridge. I'm gonna put one of the double packs in the freezer. Uh, I believe that each of those, one of these should be for sure one meal. So of those two large packs, I should get four meals. And I've really been loving getting avocados from Costco. They are, I used to get them from Aldi, but the ones from Costco are quite a bit larger. And I just, I don't know if it's me or what, if all these had a bad batch, but I've been finding that these have been getting ripe a bit better um, and just lasting a bit longer. So I got two packages of six of the avocados. I got four things of bananas that will not at all be all month. It's just kind of to get us started. Two are a little riper, two are a little greener. That way we can go through them without any of them going to waste. Of course, if they get overripe, we can always make banana bread, muffins, um, any any selection of delicious banana recipes. Uh, then I also got two four pound packages here of the wild blueberries. So here at Costco, they have organic blueberries or they have wild blueberries. The organic blueberries are actually slightly more expensive and the, the wild blueberries, because they're wild, um, there's not typically pesticide residue and they actually have two times the amount of antioxidants compared to ordinary blueberries. So I always opt for the wild blueberries, um, more antioxidants and an even cheaper price. We have a blueberry lips. You want some more? Okay, and then I also got this Naturals Turkey Breast. This is definitely not my number one choice, and I will show you why. My num Not my number one choice, because it does contain carrageenan, which is not my favorite. However, the only other option that they had is over $10 a pound, which is absolutely insane. So for really easy lunches, I did get one package of this type of turkey. I even looked, I was gonna get ham and they didn't have any of that. They only had roast beef. Anyways, I opted for this for this round um, through and then I got some sliced cheese, which is also what we use for our sandwiches as well as making a delicious grilled cheese sandwich. This is really delicious cheese. I really like the Tillamook, um, Colby Jack, Monterey Jack. They also have one that's like a two pack with like pepper jack and maybe another type of spicy jack. And then I also got some of the uncured Canadian bacon. I was always getting only one of these every month, but we've really been using it for more and more things. We've been getting back into making homemade pizza. So that definitely takes up a bunch of them. And then I also like making breakfast, like egg breakfast sandwiches on English muffins. And this circular are like perfect to go in those. So I went ahead and got two of the packages today and they're one and a half pounds each. I like getting my squash or zucchini at Costco. Aldi did have organic zucchini, a tiny bit less per pound this week, but I did not want to have to go to two stores. So I went ahead and got this one, three and a half pounds. I like getting organic zucchini because many conventionally grown zucchinis um, are pretty a high likelihood of being GMO. So I like to go organic on that. And then I also always get at least one bag of organic baby spinach from Costco as well. Uh, I Sometimes I get two, but I already have still quite a bit in the freezer from last month that I didn't use up. So I only got one and I'll try to use this mostly fresh, but I, it does freeze really well and you can throw it into soups. You can throw it into scrambled eggs or like a frittata, really easy straight from being frozen as well as adding to a smoothie. I got two boxes of five dozen eggs, which me makes 10 dozen eggs total. I typically get one of these regular old cage-free 
like cheap, lower quality eggs. And then I'll get several of the pasture-raised eggs. But as you can see today, they did not have any of the pasture-raised. They only had the other like organic cage-free, which to me is just not saying much. If I'm going to spend more for eggs, I want them to truly be pasture-raised eggs. So then I just went all cheap. I feel like with eggs, it's either like go big or go home. Like either get the best of the best or just get the cheapest because there's not a lot of difference between all the other labelings of like, of, you know, saying cage free or vegetarian fed or whatever. They're just pretty all the same quality type egg unless you can get truly pasture raised. We got four bags of these organic tortilla chips. We definitely like these chips a lot. If we ever ran out, it would just be real sad. So I always try to keep them nice and stocked. It is organic corn. Uh, and I do at least like that even though it is sunflower oil, it's organic sunflower oil and it's just regular sea salt. It's not a highly like more processed salt. So there's four of those bags there. And then we got some dried mango as well. This is typically really delicious. Sometimes they're like overly dried out. So I do always try to feel the bag and I feel like this one is in pretty good condition. It's two and a half pounds and it's only the dried organic mango. Some of them will have some sulfates and preservatives that make them brighter orange and keep them softer. Some of them even have added sugar. So I love these here because it's just strictly the mango. Then over here, I just got eight pack of the organic black beans, uh, an eight pack of the organic diced tomatoes. And then this is only six cans, but I do like to always keep coconut milk on hand. We have one son who is dairy free. And so for certain creamy soups, this does really well, as well as if you want to make any form of Thai food and curries and stuff like that, then coconut milk is going to be your friend. Then I got 20 pounds of flour. I was going to get two of these but I only got one because I still have one in my pantry. But my goal this year is to make homemade bread and we've been doing really good. So I've been going through a lot of it. Uh, my next step is making tortillas. So typically we go through four packages of these every month with nine people in our house. So I went and just bought two and I'm just gonna supplement. So I'm not gonna go from zero to a hundred. I'm still buying some tortillas, but that way I don't have to make every single tortilla that we eat. In case we just like one or two kids wanna make like a snack or something with a tortilla, I don't have to whip up a whole batch of tortillas. So that's what I'm doing as as far as the tortillas go. And then I just always get one three pound container of sour cream and one three pound container of cottage cheese. I have a brand new recipe that's my favorite these days. It is blueberry cottage cheese muffins and they are very delicious. So I've been going through this rather quickly every single month. I just also needed some more grass-fed butter. So I got this one here. I like Kirkland's even over Kerrygold. Kerrygold, I think lately has to have some, some controversial stuff come out. Uh, and this one it was already saying it was 95% grass-fed butter, whereas Kerrygold was always only 90%. So either way, it's also a better deal at Costco. So I got two of those. And then I got a huge thing of mozzarella cheese. I have never bought this before at Costco but like I said we've been doing getting back into doing pizza night and so I do prefer mozzarella cheese we've just been using whatever cheese we have on hand so one time it was even like sharp cheddar which is not ideal so I got this large six pound block of mozzarella all right well there's two things everybody wants right now and it's pickles and it's chocolate. salted chocolate caramels Christian added the pickles because they're delicious. Yep. They're just really delicious. So these Gorilla's pickles are, they're very fresh. They have very minimal ingredients and they're very crunchy, crispy, delicious. Then we got these here because Isabella was with me and she really wanted them and caramel. I've got a soft spot for caramel. So those are really yummy. So we will crack yeah. these open. All right, a lot of fun was being had in the background, so I'm gonna do a voiceover. I needed some more vanilla, and I was very excited because this here is actually only seasonal, and so the peach preserves came back in season. It's here local in Texas, so I'm always very excited, as were the kids for me to pick up one of those. And then I really also like the four fruit preserves. We use this pretty often on peanut butter jelly type sandwiches, and I typically always am getting raw honey, 
lots of maple syrup, two to three every month, depending on how many times we have waffle and pancakes. And then I needed quite a few spices. So here I've got the granulated garlic. And then I got two of the chopped onions and brand new, I've never seen them have the granulated onion as well. Also new to at least my Costco is the oregano and the basil. And then I also needed some paprika. And my exciting find of the trip were these grass-fed beef sticks. If you have been here long, you know we love these and I've never ever seen them on sale and they were this month, so I picked up three of them. Then I got some muffins. We use these for some events at the church. We don't eat them too often. And then my kids absolutely love dates. Pitted dates are just, there's nothing better. It's like nature's candy. Another thing I really like getting is celery sticks. I just go ahead and chop them all up at once and I just freeze them in little baggies. That way I can add them into food anytime I need. Uh, and then you saw earlier that I got that honey and that is for the garlic here. So with the garlic, I made a whole bunch of fermented honey garlic so that I can have it ready anytime we need. It takes about six weeks to ferment. So I went ahead and made a whole bunch at once. Can I have two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely love this organic lemon juice. What I love about it is that, I don't think you can see it in the picture, but these two bottles is about the same as 80 lemons. So to me, it's not even just about convenience. It's honestly like cheaper than buying 80 organic lemons and it's shelf stable. It can last up to seven months in your pantry and we absolutely love it. And we already had some still cut oats, but it had the asterisk and they were taking them out of the store. So I got one more seven pound bag of these steel cut oats. And then back again, I was very happy. They now again have these sprouted rolled oats from one degree. I absolutely love these oats. Definitely higher price than last time they were there, but still a great deal. I really like getting nori, just like the sea salt seasoned seaweed snacks. Um, they're pretty minimal ingredients and seaweed has a lot of nutrients you don't get in a lot of other places, including iodine. And since we don't use iodine, iodized salt, I feel like that's a pretty good source. Um, I just needed some more nuts, so some pistachios. I picked up some pecans. And while we were at Costco, they actually had a sample out of some trail mix. And as you saw in the beginning of the video, we had all the kids with us. So they desperately wanted this trail mix, but I knew we had everything everything at home that we needed to make it. So it had walnuts and cranberries and pumpkin seeds and almonds. And the only thing that we don't really have, it had like sweetened little chunks of mango, but I just went, ran and bought actual mango strips and I decided we would just make our own. So I did notice the trail mix at the store, the number one ingredient was cranberries. So it had more cranberries than anything else. And typically I like more nuts versus more fruit, but I did make it a little fruit heavy, uh, at least for our family. And then I just cut up the mango in as small as pieces as I could. And I just added in all of those ingredients together and stirred it on up. I got about 12 baggies out of this and um, I had measured it out. I believe I used a, a third cup measure and it's definitely way more than I would have gotten from the package at Costco. I had everything in the pantry and it just worked out a lot better. So that is one of the things I like to do to save money whenever I can is to make what I can from scratch to use the ingredients I have on hand. You guys, thank you so much for joining us for this Costco haul. If you too are wanting to live a healthier lifestyle and you are trying to just figure out what exactly that looks like, step by step, choice by choice, stick around, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.